When you step up to the model, you're going to have the home screen. It looks like this. The sign in button is on the top left. Go ahead and press sign in. It'll ask you to swipe your university ID card on the card reader. You'll get a window showing you your billing options. You may already see options that you can select from. If there's an option you don't see yet that you have access to, click on the search button, press OK. Here you're going to have to know the first number that the account starts with that you're looking for. In my case it's 2. I'll say OK. I want to print to the 220 account general funds. I'll say OK. At this point I can make copies or release print jobs. I'm going to make a copy. We're going to use the top feeding tray here. Make two sided copies stapled. You'll get a green light here when it's positioned in the right place. Then I'll go to my copy section here. Here I can select my different options. We're going to do two sided. My document is already two sided, so I'll go from a two sided document to a two sided output leave the orientation alone and say OK. I also want a staple so that option is right here and it's default to none you're gonna want it on the top left is the only option in this model it's gonna automatically collate when you do that of course Say OK. And then the next thing would be to go ahead and select how many copies you want we're gonna select three when you select the number you want press OK again then if you want no more uh, options and that's what you want, go ahead and press copy when you're ready. Window comes up and it starts to work. At this point you can press OK and you can go back to your home screen if you want and you can do other items here you can print release you can make more copies you can use any of the other email features um, and if you're ready you can sign out if you don't sign out someone can step up and continue to use your account we're going to go ahead and scan a document and email it to ourselves using the Pharos device I've set the documents on top of the feeding tray. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And then I'm going to take my university ID card and swipe it across the reader. This is just the billing window. I can just say OK. And then I will go to the email feature select the to button here and I can use the address book to pull up university email addresses in this case mine is right there I will say okay to mine I'll add one more here at Hi Lee. Okay, say OK. I could also CC somebody and I can put it in manually if I didn't know if they're not part of the university directory. Okay to that. And you could change the subject here, but I'll leave it alone. And you can change the file name here, but I'll leave that alone. And then at this point you're ready to send your message if your documents are up on the tray like mine are. So I will press the send email button. This window is just asking you if you want to add this new email address to the address book. I'll say no to that. And that's basically it.
Okay, so what I'm going to do is release a document that I sent to the print queue, and I sent it to the HP Ferros printer dash CI queue, so I can release it at any HP device, version 8 Ferros device. So what I do is I log in or sign in. I swipe my Dolphin One card. It's signing in. I'm going to select my default cost center, select OK. And then I'll select the print release button. That'll give me a list of all the print jobs that I have in that queue. Notice that they're all available for printing. I don't have a cost associated with these, each job until I select that job. So I want to release the one of a one page document that I submitted here. I select the job, then it gives me the cost of that job. And then I select print and that job will release and print. You want to show uh, them how to switch the account? So if, if I wanted to select a different cost center that I want to charge a job to, I cannot do it while I'm in this session. So what I would do is go back to the home button, sign out, and then sign in again. This is a little different than some of the other devices, but hopefully we'll get that worked out. Or So I sign in. I don't actually have additional cost centers, but if I did have more cost centers, they would all be listed in the left pane on the cost centers that I have permissions to access. What I'll do here is uh, I'm gonna be checking my personal account balance. I've submitted a job to the um, HP Ferros printer, the CIQ. So what I do is I go to print release, I don't necessarily have to sign in every time, so I can select print release. It'll ask me to swipe my card, which I'll do with my Dolphin One card. Swipe it on the card reader. At this point, what I would do is select the charge to personal account option on the right side of the billing screen. Select OK. Notice that I don't actually have my Blackboard account balances listed here. I select OK anyways. Then when I go to the print release options, it does have my account balance. I have a 358 Blackboard account balance. Actually, I actually have 258 um, and then a dollar in another location, but it does show me my balance. I can release a job here, selecting that job. It gives me the cost of that job and I can release it at that point.